This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School, and today I'm going to cover uh, the necessities for doing wiring and checking clocks on for irrigation tech. You know, as a school, we get a lot of questions from our students: are what are the tools that I need to make sure I can do a good job on checking electrical? So I'm going to cover like the basic four tools that every irrigation technician should have in the field. So the number one thing, and, and we teach this in our class, it's the multimeter. So I have a different ones here. So this one we, we adjust and we can um, pick the range. But basically with the multimeter, I could check my voltage, check my clock, check my station's output, check my solenoid. So really a lot of troubleshooting we can get done with the multimeter. Very, very important tool. Um, again, they come in different ranges. Uh, this is the auto ranging. This one's a little bit pricey. You know, th there's different models, but they, these are like the higher grade ones. Definitely, if you have the money and, the, and you want to invest on a very good tool, these are the, these are the way to go. I prefer those, uh, that style. You know, even the, the basic, we had the very, very basic ones. We're looking at 20 to $30 range. Very important to have. All right, so this is our next tool. This is an adjustable voltage detector. So we have a sensitivity roll right here, maximum, minimum off. And what this does is it'll tell me voltage, so I don't get a reading. So this is a $20 tool, very important tool to have. You know, so when we set a breaker off, you know, it's all about safety, set your breaker off. This will actually give me a tone that there is some kind of power associated with the breaker, the hot wire, anything like that, very important tool. So the next tool we have is a circuit tester. So this works almost like the tone, but what we do is we'll plug this in. Various different models of this. We plug it in. This one will give me readings. It'll tell me, you know, what kind of voltage I have. If I have voltage, if I get current there, but I don't have the proper voltage, this one comes with a breaker. Very, a lot of different models. Very, very good to have. And it's always good to have extensions. You know, it just depends on how tricky you want to get. You can hook into a wire, and this just connects simply to the end of your multimeter. You know, as an extra hand, you know, we only have two hands. We're looking at meters, holding the meter, you know, connecting to wires. It's, it's very, very useful to have some tools like this. So that's pretty much it. You know, for the basic electrical, for troubleshooting, we need multimeter, um, it's some kind of voltage detector, whether it be the adjustable voltage detector or a plug-in circuit breaker detector and and uh, with those tools you're gonna be ahead of the game so thank you for watching this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School and I'll catch you guys on the next one